So everybody, watch. We've, uh, we're, we're in an exploration of understanding the NetHTTP package. And uh, we started with type handler. And we saw that handler is an interface. And it's an interface that right, has to have the method serve HTTP, response writer, and a pointer to request both those types from the HTTP package. So we explored the type request, which is a struct with a bunch of fields, and we saw how we could get a lot of information from those fields. And then the next thing we're going to explore <clears throat> is response writer. So I asked you to like, take a look at like, what's the other side of that handler interface, the response writer. And the response writer is an interface itself. An interface defines, and it's a type, so something could be of this type, right? But an interface defines functionality, so it means that Anything that implements this interface, they, it ha, they, whatever that value is, if it implements this interface, it needs to, whatever that type is, if it implements this interface, values are of a type, it needs to have these methods. And so, all right, there's the write method. So it implements the writer interface. I'm pretty sure that's the writer interface, you know, write method. So I could go to GoDoc and go to IO pound writer, all right, and there's the writer interface, write, slice of bytes, int error. So cool, response writer implements the writer interface. So wherever a writer is asked for, we could pass in response writer. So when I'm going to, you know, uh, go doc funk, right, I can look at the index here, and I could see that I could use f print f print f, f print line, those all take a writer, so I could pass the response in there because the, re the response writer implements the writer interface by the fact that it has this. Right? So that's the connection and how polymorphism works and how I'm able to take the response writer and pass it into fumped f print. Right? You, you figure out how those things work. Ah, oh, that's the writer interface. This could go whatever asks for a writer. And then this will write to the response. Or I could use like uh, godoc forward slash ioutil, iotil. And no, nothing there. IO. And I could just look for a writer and copy. I could copy something to the response. I could use copy and put the response there. Write string, io.write string, I could put the response there and use that one. All right. And then something else which is interesting is it has this method. So if I call that method, I get back a header. All right? A header is a type, it's a map. And then it has all these functions associated with it, add, del, get, set, right? So what I could do is I could do something like this. My response, call my header, gives me back that type header, which has these methods, and I one of them being set, and I could set a key and a value, and I could set my own headers for the response. So let's try that. Response header, and I'm going to do here. That's the request. So I'll take. What is my starting point? I guess maybe this is the starting point. I'll make that 04, and this is the response writer. And uh, I was looking pretty different than the code I just had. So can we work with that from there? If we compare this to the code I just had. Oh yeah, we had hot dog, hot dog, and serve HTTP. And then that got passed into the listen and serve. So how would I work with this code right here to set a header? And so that's the next challenge. So I'm gonna copy this code here, control C, command C, cool, whatever C. I'm gonna put it in 21, and I'm going to call it set header, and I'm going to push that up for you. And uh, I want you to set a header, 
and a response will come back and you should be able to look and see that header. So you got the readme file and you have this code in 21. Go to it.